Today I will explain a fine cipher using Java program. So first of all, let's see how it works. Then we will go to the Java program. A fine cipher, we have the letters, let's say from A to Z. And they are numbered from 0 to 25, which means we have um, 26 letters. <laughs> so if we want to cipher a letter, we will use this rule cipher equal to a multiplied by p plus b mod 26 so what is a and b a and b are key so a and b we have key you can you can choose any key i i chose seven and two but you but you can choose any key for a and b and p is the the letters you want the letter you want to to encrypt so for example let's say g encrypt g so g is 6 6 multiplied by a 6 multiplied by 7 then plus with b plus with b then more 26 so let this let this do it so i've done it here we have 6 multiplied by 7 6 multiplied by 7 will plus 2 more 26 equal 18 so we have 18 18 corresponds to s it's s right so 18 equal to s now we encrypt letter g to s now let's see the decryption how we will de-encrypt the s we will use this rule to decrypt the letter. So we have A inverse. 7 inverse, inverse of 7 is equal to 15. We are using modular inverse, modular inverse. So how modular inverse works? We let's say we want to find the inverse of 7, right? Because A is 7 and we want its inverse. So we will use seven multiplied by a number, any number, mod 26. If it equals to one, then we have find the inverse. So any number multiplied by seven mod 26 equals one, it is the inverse of seven. Seven multiplied by 15 mod 26 will equal to one. So that's why 15 is the inverse of 7. 15, 15 multiplied by C minus B. We have C, which was 18. 18 minus B will equal to 16. 16 multiplied by 15. 16, 16 multiplied by 15. Mod 26 would give us 6, and 6 is G. So we return to the original letter. Now let's see this in code. This I've written, I've written the code. It's very, very easy. I'll, ex I'll explain it step by step. Now this code might not be efficient. You can modify it. This is just to, this is just to show you how it works, how, how how to write a simple Java program. So first of all, in the main, we are getting a key, which is A and B. So the user will enter A and B. Then we will send, we will uh, call the ciphering, ciphering method. Now let's see the ciphering method. These A and B are global variable. So we can see them um, from other methods. We will get the plain text from user, will be stored in plain text. Now we are using for loop to um, get letter by letter. So the first of, first of all, we will get the first letter. So let's say we have the user entered hello. We want to cipher hello. So first of all, i is zero. We will get H car at I car, character at I 
it's, it's edge. So T is edge now. Now here we are um, using this to to convert um, character to numeric ASCII code. We are using this to uh, convert character to ASCII code. Now ASCII code of let's say A, ASCII code of A is equal to 97. That's why I'm using minus 97 to get uh, 0 because we start from 0. Okay? We start from 0 and this is applied for the rest of the letters. Here we are using the rule ciphertext is equal to A multiplied by, by the plane, by the letter itself, plus B mod 26. Here we will get a number. We will get a number. This number must be converted to a letter, right? So we are using car C plus 97. Why 97? Be because we are dealing with ASCII code. And we said ASCII code start with 97. And we will return the cipher text. The same goes with decryption. Decryption, we have the string to be decrypted. We, we have the for loop. First of all, we get the first letter. Let's say hello. First letter is H. Um, we will encrypt it letter by letter, then we will store it in plain text. Okay. Now the first letter is H. Let's say we get the H. H um, converted to ASCII code. Then we are using the role. Here we have the mod inverse. I have a function for that mod inverse of a which was 7 remember um, mode 26 so as, as I said we will check for all numbers from 1 to 26 from 1 to 26 any number multiplied by a mod m equal 1 that's the inverse we will return otherwise we will return 1 okay now here we return the inverse let's say inverse of 7 was 15 multiplied by um the the cipher text cipher letter cipher letter minus b mod 26 we will get the deciphered letter it is in integer we will convert it to character you see we are we are downcasting it from integer to character plus 97y because we said ASCII code starts with 97. Then we will add it to plain text. We will decipher each letter and add it to plain text. Then when we finish, we will return this plain text and that's it. So let's see the, let's run the code. Now here we will enter the key seven and Two. We will enter go. Okay. Cipher text is S. We saw how we will encrypt G, which was S18. And the decrypt deciphering again we will get go. Okay. Um, thank you for listening. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment below or if this video wasn't understandable, I can make another one. Anything, ask me in the comment. I will do my best to explain it in another, another way. Thank you for listening. See you next time.